Hello and welcome to Pattern Making with Let Morris. Today we're going to be doing another skirt and we've got a peplum, we've got um, a grown on waist, extended waist. Um, we've got also um, a straight skirt that's going underneath the peplum. On the back we've got a zip, a knife pleat. So um, you can do this whether um, long skirt or very short skirt or a knee length skirt, whatever length you want. It just depends on you. They style features. So today I'm just going to show you how to make the pattern for this um, skirt from the basic standard skirt block. Um, I hope you are getting value from these lessons and you're using your block because um, for me teaching and going through patterns it's all about making them from your block once you've got your block to your measurements or for somebody else who you want to make something for you've got those measurements and you've made a block you're all ready to go you don't need to keep on measuring because you've got your block all you have to do is to go back to your block so today I just want to welcome those who are watching for the first time um, I hope you will get value from um, these lesson or this lesson making this skirt and um, I'd like to say for those that are in the group those who have been watching don't forget to share to like to comment and also to su subscribe and um, as long as I'm posting, you can follow me through on the YouTube or if you're in the group or if you want to join the group so you can get all the patterns, the lessons that I'm teaching from Block. So here we go. So today this is the skirt that we'll be doing right here. We're going to be starting from the blocks. We've got the blocks here. I've already pre-marked out the blocks and... Um, all we're going to do now is just go straight into it so the front we've got the front and we've got the back we can put the blocks away and we're going to start off with the front so we're going to create the the yoke we call that the yoke extended waist um, waistband or waist uh, you'd call that a basque so here we go you've got your normal skirt block which we've traced off i've marked on your your yoke line and all we're going to do is to get a sheet of paper don't forget to have your paper ready whether it's spot or cross plain paper or um brown paper so you get a sheet of paper and we're going to fold it like that and i'm going to take off this section here here top section first We've got a dart here, we've got a dart here. We don't want the dart in, so we're gonna get rid of the dart and we're gonna be left with a little dart there. But when we come to do that, you see how we get rid of that. So number one, we're gonna cut off this section here that we've got, because that's the first section we're going to work on. And it will be the same thing at, for the back. So you do exactly the same thing when you come to do the back. The only difference with the back is that we're going to have a seam for the zip and also for the pleat so once you've got that we're going to cut up on that line one of these line it doesn't matter which one because we're going to get rid of the darts so we cut down there separate it and we're going to place this edge which is the, um and we're going to place it on the fold edge of your paper because you've folded your edge along there and then we're going to close that dart out. So we're going to close it like this. So you close it with by pinning it or you can sellotape it. So it's, it's closed out. So once you close out the dart, you'll see that the pattern shape begins to take a different shape. So you close the dart out like that. You place it on the fold edge of your paper, your new paper. And you can see it's curved. And it's also curving in at the waist. So all you do is, once you've got that on the edge of your folded paper, make sure it's on the edge. Okay, like that. 
and that's flat on you can put a weight on it to hold it down or you can hold it and you just mark around the side and you follow that shape that you've got here it's not a smooth line but we'll smooth that up after we've marked it up and then you mark along the bottom once again that's not a smooth line but we want smooth line so that's what you do you trace that off make sure it's on the fold edge there of your paper then you can um, take that away and then with your curve you can just curve up that waistline here have a nice curve shape and then you curve the bottom area as well follow that round nice curve and then what we do is we're going to extend the waist of um, inch and a half so you measure up one and a half inches from that point there and you put a mark and you do it all the way around so it's even so you get that inch and a half inch and a half because that's what you how much you're raising it it doesn't mean to say that you you know you've got to do inch and a half you could do one inch you could do two inches i can do a quarter three quarters of an inch it just depends on you so once you've done that you've measured that keeping it all the way around from the waist we're going to still keep a notch there so we now a waist the actual waistline is come higher now by an inch and a half so once you've got that all you do is add your seam allowance so you want one centimeter at the side you want a centimeter at the top here top of your waist and you want a centimeter around the bottom of your yoke like that so once you've got that that's your pattern piece and you can just cut out the shape now because you've added your seam allowance on and all you have to do is cut the shape out then you put your grain line on we can use the center of this piece for our grain line after we cut it out so once you cut out you open up and you just mark your grain line in the center because grain lines are very important to help you to place it straight on your fabric the pattern piece and on here we're going to cut we're going to cut two of those and we're going to plus one fuse and the fuses help to give it body and because we're going to use the other piece we we only need one showing at the top but we want one underneath to face it out when we bag out the waistline so that's the top half of your the i'd call that the yoke of your um, skirt so the next piece we're going to do is the under piece from there down to the hem we're not doing the 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 um the basque we're not doing the basque bit yet where it's fluted we're going to do the underneath of the skirt so from your draft again you get hold of your draft and once again we're going to fold if you've got enough paper if you haven't you get a new sheet of paper and we're going to fold on that line we're going to do a fold edge again like that and we're going to get hold of this part because don't forget we've done the waist section now so we're going to and we don't we must remember that we've got a little dart there and we don't want that dart so number one we just mark around that area and you've got to measure your dart it will be about a quarter of an inch that dart in there whatever it is it's not much it's only a little bit you've got there of dart so whatever that is it's a quarter of an inch we're just going to take it off the side so you measure in a quarter of an inch and then we're just going to curve it back into our hip line by taking that off and you can use your curve to curve that in so you've got no darts in there and we're going to taper the hemline by inch and a quarter and we measure that into there and we're going to take it you know back into there a straight line and it curves back into your hip line your hip section there so once we've done that we've done those two adjustments that we want we can rub that line out and rub out the one at the side because this is our new new shape that we've got here now so once we've got that you add your seam allowance on at the hem it can be a centimeter or two two centimeter depending on whether you're going to fell it or you're going to stitch it 
So you add your seam allowance on there and you come up the side with your one centimeter seam allowance and you take it all the way around. You follow the shape around, all the way around, around the curve that you've got, the new curve line that you've got here and right up to the waist area. And then you just add a centimeter along that area there. And then you just use your French curve to curve the line or you could curve it yourself, curve it along there, give it a nice curve back into there like that. And then you just cut out the shape like that. Along there. And basically the back is the same principle, but the only difference is you're going to have you're going to have a center back seam instead of placing it on the fold. So there you go. So that is your front piece here. And you open out and you place the grain line on. So that is your grain. And we're going to cut one of those. And this is your front. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the the bath, the um, the frill section of the skirt, the peplum that is called peplum. Okay, so now we go back to our draft, which is that one, and we've already marked on the peplum, which is from there to there. So we've got the peplum marked off. So now this area here. We're going to cut that shape out. We're going to slash and we're going to open out to get the, the fullness that we want around the peplum bottom here, that fullness. So this is how we do it. So I'm just going to separate this piece from here as this is your R draft that we're using. And I'm going to divide this into three sections. Let's go. So we go one two three right one two three so we just and then we get another sheet of paper which is going to be folded again so we fold on that piece of paper and we're going to slash up on these lines that we've cut out up to there we don't cut it all the way through up to there like that and then we're going to place that edge which is the center front on the, the edge and we put a weight on it or sellotape it and we open them out as far as we can. I always use my my ruler to get a square line out and I'll just open out as far as I can go with these pieces. Make sure you've got your weights on and they're evenly spaced and open out and, and while I'm open out I make sure that my ruler touch that point there and I'm going to just put a little mark one up across there and one there I'm going to draw a line down there and I'm going to put a mark where the end of that point is and as you can see they're all open and I'm all I'm doing is I'm just going to mark at the bottom of each piece so it gives me a guide to get a good run and I'm also going to do it in this section here as well at the top so I'm going to mark, mark, and mark. So it gives me a guide on how to give my curve. So once I've done that with my French curve, again, I'm going to curve that. If you've got a good hand for curving, you just um, do that automatically. So on here, I'm just going to curve that around. I'm going to give that a nice curve round back to the center front like that and I'm going to do the same thing but I've got to make sure that that distance is the same as the piece that I have slashed out slashed up at the side so I've put a mark there and that's where I'm going to come to so I'm going to go from there and I'm going to go all the way around but if you notice along here halfway between here when you 
cut out and lay on your fabric it tends to drop because this section become, comes on the bias so I normally come up short about a quarter of an inch to three eighths along there and then I just mark it follow it round so instead of down there where I've marked my piece I've come up and then I'll take it back round into there so that's my new line now so I can rub those out and then get a nice shape all the way round. So I'm getting a new nice shape into there from there all the way round following my shape. So I'll get a new shape. So once I've got that, I'm going to just add my seam allowance, which is a centimetre on my side, centimetre around my waist. It's not my waist actually this is the peplum section along there and then I'm going to add a centimeter along here the bottom of it all the way around and then once I've got that I just cut out my shape and then put my grain line on cut my shape out and then put my grain line on down my side and as I said the back is the same principle the only difference is you got um, a center back seam for your zip and you add your pleat but I'll show you how that is done so that is now your peplum and we're going to open that and you can see I'm putting my grain line in the center of that. That is your grain line and we're going to cut. We're going to cut one of those and this is the front peplum, okay? So these are your skirt pattern piece. That goes, that's your peplum which goes onto there and flutes and bring gives you the nice flutes and this is your, your band that goes into there like that no darts at the top no darts on the skirt bit and that completes the front section of your skirt and then we're going to have a break and come back and we're just going to show you how to do the the back section so those are the pattern pieces that we need right that's your peplum that's your your yoke bit with the extended waist on there and that's your underskirt piece so those are the three pattern piece that you need for the front and now we're going to go on take a break and we will be back to show you how you develop the back section so see you soon bye <music> 